It is Wednesday, the 6th of March, 2019. Of all the little time pieces and contraptions that I've made to find the truth concerning time, which we are not told by the systems of the world, this may be one of the most simplest ones I've made that I don't even think I've ever put in a video. But it's real easy since it's before the you can see that there's no shadow on the bottom of it, the south side of it, but there's a shadow on the north side. And the idea of it is that, one, this never moves. You make it, you get your angles right, you set it, and you just watch it from day to day. I mean, you don't have to watch it every day, just around the times when I said solstice when I meant equinox. Equinoxes, I mean. I don't know why I said solstice. Probably gonna have to redo this whole thing because of that. So, it's an equinox measure, it's not a solstice measure. Slap myself. But anybody can make one. This one's made out of concrete. There's probably other ways you could make it if you don't have tools to make one out of concrete. But what you do is you find your angle to the north, north star. Not exactly the star, but you have to pinpoint the exact north, not the Polaris location, if you want to get it exactly right. This one, I don't know exactly how accurate it is. I made it about a year ago. But it's probably pretty close. I'm going to actually check it this spring equinox and see how it stands. And just understand that you're not trying to measure... A certain point in the sky you're trying to measure a day but like I said you're not trying to get that point you're trying to get the day and if you've been watching it say a couple days before and a couple days after you'll know exactly what day it happened on that's the point of the device is to get a day not a certain point of the Sun's location the Sun's shadow movements from north to south are so small you probably wouldn't actually see it happen in a in one day's time such as the light transferring over from this side to the other side where the shadow is now. Point you're trying to measure the day. March 20th, by the way. Once you have that day by whatever means you find it, then you can start a real calendar based off of the real days of the year, 364. And it will be consistent back to that day. I've at least figured that much out. Just in case all that talk was of no real use of understanding what I was describing there, I drew some pictures. Now this would be the explanation if you were standing on the perfect point under the sun during the equinox, the equator, as they advertise. This is what you'd have if you set up a, a device straight up. You'd have no shadow on each side during that day. The equinox and like a winter day the shadow would be on one side summer day shadow would be on the other side but since I'm not on the equator you have to get an angle to work with for it all to work right so that is the point thanks for watching